Hello world, my name is Tim Rolswick. I'm the founder of Game Dev Underground and Skullbox Studios, a studio dedicated to making turn-based, grid-based strategy games. I'm currently working on two games, Murder Bunnies and Battle Barn Tactics, which you can check down below if you're interested. But in this video, we're gonna talk about whether or not you should sell your game. It's a question I get a lot. It's something that I've wondered a lot before I launched my first commercial game. And it's crazy because you think the obvious answer would always be yes. And uh, we'll get to why I think it is in, in a little bit, but a lot of people are very apprehensive about selling their game for a lot of reasons. They don't think it's higher quality enough. They don't think that they put enough effort into it. They don't think it took enough time. And there's a lot of psychology and there's a lot of all kinds of stuff on why you would feel that way. But I wanna kind of go through uh, some of the reasons and things that I thought about when I was determining whether or not I should sell my game. And even now, sometimes I make smaller projects and I have side projects and stuff like that. And how do I determine whether or not I should sell those things or just kind of give them away like Game Jam games on my itch profile or whatever. So we're gonna start with the two things I think you should ask yourself when you're wondering whether or not you should sell your game. Number one, why do you actually want to sell it? This is an important question, because if you think about it, the reason why you do something really impacts how you would end up doing it. Straight up, if your motivation is money, that's fine. <laughs> but let's be realistic here. If this is your first game and you're wondering whether or not you should even sell it, money is probably not gonna be one of the major things that ends up coming in when you actually do sell it. Money's hard to make, marketing is hard to learn. Games are take a long time to make, right? Money is not gonna be one of the main things that happens in your first game launch. What about validation? Right? Some people, they want the validation of having launched a game. They want to be able to say, yes, I did the thing. I am one of the select elite group of people that have finished a game. Look at me. I'm so cool. And another part of that might actually be the achievement behind that. Achieving a game launch is a really big thing. We've all got our little projects that we work on, but finishing is harder enough. So if you've finished a game jam, that's a sense of achievement, but a commercial game launch on something like Steam is the next level. It's massive, it's a huge achievement, and that might be worth your time and why you want to actually sell the game. So the first verdict straight up, if you're in this for the money, if you're in this for a business, if you wanna build a business making indie games, I don't think you should expect a ton of money from your first launch, but two, you absolutely Absolutely should sell it because you gotta get that first launch out of the way. There's a thousand things you're gonna learn during the game launch that you wanna straight up get out of the way, and that's that's awesome. That's part of the journey, and so you should absolutely sell it and get part of that journey out of the way. But if you're more motivated by like showing people your stuff or you want people to see your game, there might be some other ways to do that that don't really require selling, and they don't require all of the effort uh, that goes into setting up pricing and international pricing and all the the steam key art and all that stuff i will say though even if you're planning on releasing your game for free marketing is still a thing because by default nobody even knows your game exists so you still got to actually put effort into promotion and stuff to get people to see your game otherwise no one's going to know that it exists so that's just something important to note if you're thinking about releasing your game because you think more people are going to play it than if you sell your game, uh, which is true, but it's not by much. You still have to do the work to get people to actually see it. So the second question you wanna ask yourself is, which platforms do you actually want to sell it on? I will say something like Steam is a lot more approachable than console. Something like it is a lot more approachable than Steam. So where you wanna sell it might factor into how much work and how much effort it takes to actually get that up there. Personally, I had to kind of step into it, right? When I launched Philophobia, I launched it on Itch first, and then I put in more work and I launched it on Steam. It was helpful for me to kind of take baby steps because a Steam launch felt like such an insane, crazy, large thing to do that it honestly terrified me at first. So I started with Itch and I kind of moved my way up from there. So it helped me to kind of make the decision to sell it by starting with an Itch launch versus a Steam launch. Okay, so those are the two questions you should ask yourself, but I'm actually gonna give you five reasons why I think you should sell it. Because look, there's a whole quality versus like price question to be made, right? Like you can ask yourself, uh, is it worth the money? But the problem is that is very subjective. And I can tell you this, if you're watching a YouTube video on whether or not you should sell your game, maybe you're a little insecure about selling your game. And if you're trying to tell yourself, does it look good enough? Does it feel good enough? If you're trying to, if you're trying to find logical ways to justify whether or not you sell your game, you probably need a little bit of pushing in that direction. Because personally, I think there's a lot to learn from it. And I wanna share five reasons why I think you should actually go that route. Number one is the honest feedback 
You get so much more honest feedback when someone's paid for your game. Let's just be real. You share it with your friends, they're like, oh, this is great. You share it with acquaintances, they're like, oh, this is cool. But if someone you don't know pays for your game and they leave a review on it, they're gonna be completely honest. And sometimes that honesty hurts. Let me tell you, as an empath, as an introvert, when someone says some really brutal shit about my game, it hurts me, it really does. But in general, as a, as a rule of thumb, it's more helpful than hurtful, right? Like over time, you start to learn these things and, and feedback is important. It's important to the game dev cycle and you need to get more of it and you get more honest feedback when you sell your game. Number two, we talked about this with why you wanted to, but even if you don't think you need the sense of accomplishment and achievement, I think you do. So I think you should sell your game because of that sense of accomplishment and achievement. It is so important. It is so motivating. And granted, it's, you know, you work on your game for a couple of years, you, you celebrate that achievement for two days, right? So it, it's not as big as it should be because it's a monumental achievement, but still it helps to kind of experience um, the high part of game development instead of the low part where you don't want to look at that project and everybody's bored and nobody wants to even touch this thing. It's good to celebrate the, the, the happy part of it too, of actually launching your game. Number three, the people you'll meet. Even if you are an introvert, there are people that you are going to meet along your journey. Through marketing, through sharing your game, through adding social media accounts, through doing all this stuff, you're going to interact with people. You're going to see other people's cool stuff. You're going to follow interesting people on social media. And these people are invaluable. I met so many people during the process of Philophobia, just everywhere from the streams to the YouTube to Twitter, all kinds of stuff, even people that emailed me cold. And some of those relationships have turned out to be super valuable. Like I've made friendships out of it. I've made business deals out of it. I've made all kinds of stuff by meeting these people. And I think it's important to realize how important that actually can be because a lot of people don't even think about that when they're launching a game. Number four, the things you'll learn. I've touched on this a ton in this video. There are so many things that you will learn in the process of releasing a commercial game. Things that you cannot even fathom that you will learn. And I'm telling you, it is worth it to go through that process to learn those things. Because if even if you don't think your game is worth selling, going through the process of selling your game now can help you when you finish a game that you think is worth selling. You're gonna have the experience that you need to sell it. And I promise you it's gonna be worth it. And last number five, because I think this is the least important, is the money you'll make. Again, I say this because on average, when people are creating their first game launch, they're learning all the marketing, they're learning all the aesthetics, they're learning the programming, they're learning what people want. And so generally your first project isn't gonna be your best project. Let's be real. If you make 10 projects, your 10th project is probably gonna be better than your first project. So just given that, you should get that first commercial release out of the way because if you don't, you keep pushing the barrier, right? If you say your first game isn't good enough, maybe your second game will be, but guess what? Now you can just move that, that quality barrier and you say, oh, the second game's not good enough. Well, how about the third game? So you should just go ahead and sell your first game because by the time you get to a place where you're really proud of your games and you really wanna launch and sell your games, you'll have the experience that you need to market and sell the game. and. If I'm being honest with you, an indie game business really is about perseverance. You have to survive long enough to get your revenue higher than your expenses. That's what it is. That's business in general, but it's extra risky in game development. It's not about making a game and making a million dollars for your first game because realistically that doesn't happen statistically. But if you can consistently push out games and push out products, you can build up your long tail revenue and you can build an actual business out of it. So in summary, the answer is almost always yes. I think you should sell your game. Whether or not you think you should sell your game, that's a different question. But I think the pros far outweigh the cons in almost every scenario. You selling your game gets all that stuff out of the way. Even if you don't think it's ready, Preparing for that feedback and having people be honest with you and tell you what they think is a valuable life skill. It can help your game and it can help you deal with that stuff in the future. So special thanks to my patrons. They make this video possible. I appreciate every single one of you. If you want your name on this list, head over to patreon.com slash game underground. If you want to discuss a topic like this, we have weekly voice chat events on our discord server. And I highly recommend you join because we do this every single week and we talk about cool things in game development. And last but not least, my physical card game Murder Bunnies launches on Kickstarter this month. And I would really appreciate if you click the link down below to get notified when that Kickstarter goes live. I would love you forever. It would mean a lot to me. Until next time, my name is Tim Roswick. Build, finish, and launch better games.